Heirloom tomatoes are sometimes grown for historical interest, for taste, for beauty, or to win an award at the Iowa State Fair. We're in the heart of tomato harvest season, and growers have brought their bounty here to the Iowa State Fair. There's one contest in particular with varieties like red zebra and wapsipinican peach that celebrates the interesting history and diversity of heirloom tomatoes. Heirloom tomatoes are sometimes a little tricky because they're not always uniform. And that's one of the things that we look for in any kind of tomato are that kind of uniformity in specimens. So we have, you know, three on a plate. So we want those three to be like identical to one another. And that's tough with some of the heirlooms. True to type, our cultivar, uh, uniformity, uh, fruit without any blemishes. So those type of things. And then we want that perfect tomato, that tomato that you want to eat, um, that you want to bite into. In fact, it should hurt that, that we can't taste them. Well, these are varieties that have been passed down from generation to generation. They're open pollinated, they're not hybrids, uh, so you can actually grow these and they come back true from seed. And so these can go back 1800s, whatever. Some have very interesting stories as far as where they came from, uh, maybe from Europe at some point, or maybe a family. Uh, some are actually from Iowa, the Midwest. This one is called Wapsipinican peach, and it's nice and fuzzy, so it's not slick like a typical tomato. And it's an Iowa heirloom, so kind of cool. That one is good. This one's pretty good for the size, except for it does some cracking. We're starting some cracking. But it's very uniform. It's incredibly uniform. Characteristic for the cultivar. It is. I so, love the coloring. Is this uh, an unusual one? Yes, but again, very uniform. Very uniform. And it's a, uh, a tomato that's often kind of hollow on the inside. It's sometimes a stuffing tomato, like a pepper. Hence the name green pepper. My favorites are still the red zebras. They're pretty good. I like these. Okay. I like the wapsipinican peach. Okay. Because that's pretty uniform. The variety I entered was red zebra. It's a red tomato with little orange stripes on it. Yeah, it's an old variety. But it's a very good flavor, so it got a real sharp tomato taste. Red zebra probably got first because it is clean. There's, there's no real blemishes or bruises on it at all, and they are all almost this identical size. Well, you have to grow a lot of plants to get three that are good, and uh, this year they seem to be better than other years. They didn't crack as much, and the plants were just full of tomatoes. They are more interesting than a typical tomato. They're more colorful. Usually you get multiple colors. They do have a story behind them, and they've been kept for a reason, because they have usually really good taste. 